Hello everyone, this is Nagin Reddy from Tanisko Learnings and in this video, we'll choose a topic and then we'll talk about what, why and where we will implement that technology. And today's topic is Android. Now what is Android? So basically Android is founded by Andy Rubin with its team and later Google acquired Android. Again, Android was founded in year 2003 and now later once and uh, google acquired android now we have latest versions of uh, we have like multiple versions of android then the latest version of android is marshmallow it all started in year i guess 2008 somewhere so we had cupcake initially now if we talk about cupcake so it's an os which has multiple features lots of features basic one and then after that we got updates for like Donut, then we got Eclair. So we start with this. So it was 1.5 which is Cupcake, 1.9 which is Donut or 1.6 was Donut. And then 1.9, 2.0, 2.1 was Eclair. And then it goes for F which is Floyer. Then we have G which is Gingerbread. Then we have G H H which is H is Honeycomb. Then we have I which is Ice Cream Sandwich. And then we have J which is Jelly Bean. And then we have K which is Kit Kat and L lollipop and the last one is M which is marshmallow now and maybe if you're watching this video next year there will be something called as N I don't know what N will be so there are lots of versions of Android right again if you miss the list don't worry that is then then in the description area so that was that is Android which is a mobile OS but question arise why we require Android when you have all this OS available when I take when I talk about all I'm talking about Symbian I'm talking about Blackberry OS, I'm talking about Windows. So when you have all this OS, why we require yet another OS? It's because if we talk about all these OS, maybe Windows, maybe uh, Blackberry OS or uh, Symbian OS, they all were closed platform OS. Now when I say closed platform, it simply means Windows will be only used by Nokia at that time. Uh, then we have Blackberry OS only used by Blackberry company and Symbian again used by Nokia. They wanted some a language, they wanted an OS, maybe Google wanted an OS which will be which will work on all the platforms, irrespective of which company you're working with. Maybe if you're uh, maybe a company like Micromax, a company like STC, maybe a company like Samsung or Sony, they all wanted to work with one big OS. And then go Google thought about why not to use a la use an OS which will work on all the platforms. So they kept they kept it open so that any company can work with that OS and that is Android for you. But then question arise, where to implement this Android? Now where not? Think about this world. Uh, in this world we have 7 billion people and out of that 3 billion people are using internet. Just imagine out of that at least 2 billion people are using mobile phones. How many mobile phones we have in this world? And 83% of mobile market is captured by Android. So just imagine the number of users using Android because the price of if you talk about iPhone it goes beyond your limit right but if you talk about Android it is there for everyone doesn't matter what's your budget you can buy an Android phone if you are running in the low budget you can go for a low budget Android phone if you're going for a you know if you have lots of money you can go for the highest Android phone maybe you can go for Nexus 6P now right so we have all these mobile phones which works on Android not just mobile phones, think about IoT. Now if you don't know about IoT, IoT stands for in, uh, Internet of Things, which simply means in future, maybe not in future, in two to three years, all the devices at your home will be internet enabled. When I say all your devices, I'm talking about your fridge, I'm talking about your AC, I'm talking about your fan and tube lights, all will be connected with the help of internet. Now what's the advantage? All these devices which are connected with internet needs a OS, right? And that OS will be Android. Why Android? Because it is free and open source. Anyone can, let's say if you are a company, you, you make ACs, you make fridge. So you've got an OS, right? Again, you will not ask Microsoft to give you that OS. You will not ask Blackberry to give you that OS. What you can do is you can just download the Android uh, source code customize it get the license from google and now you can have your own os for your fridge that's the advantage right so you are, you are creating a android ecosystem altogether so everything every device at your home will be internet enabled with android os now what's the advantage for developers now as we, as developers you can make android apps which will work on mobile phones which will work on Android TV, which will work on Android ACs. So just imagine how many devices you have to work your own your app. 
right? So that's Android for you. So we have talked about what. So what Android is a mobile OS. Uh, it's an OS. Uh, why we require? Because we wanted some open source like uh, open source OS, and where to implement everywhere. So that's Android for you. Thank you so much for watching and do subscribe.